Hello, this is Dare Tebbers with your Farming Simulator 2013 Mod Spotlight. It's time for more trailers! Why? Because I like trailers. Trailers, trailers really, I think, add a lot to the game. So, we have a pair of trailers by my favorite modding group, NI Modding. So we're going to go and find the trailers. Uh, we'd be in Misk, wouldn't they? Yes. All right, so we've got a pair of I-4 Williams flatbed trailers, an LM-126 and an LM-186. Um, prices look, you know, about what you would expect for the, the difference in size. Um, and you increase your maintenance by a dollar a day when you go to the larger trailer. Um, those dimensions are indeed accurate based on the uh, I-4 Williams website. So let's buy our trailers, that one and that one. And wow, look at their small <laughs> little trailers. Um, apparently these are common around the UK, I would know. Um, oh wow, look, you can do all kinds of things just by walking up to it. So I walk up to it, I can install ramp, lower back crate, lower crate and remove crate. Okay, interesting. All right, so let's start by install ramp. Hey, look at that. Nice. And lower crate is V. Oh, that's nice. Even actioned. And then remove crate is C. And that just takes that all off and makes a pure flatbed. So raise crate. Oh, look at that. You you remove the ramps, but the back ramp, the back is still down. So now I can raised a back crate with O. Hey, how about that? That's pretty cool. And this is, of course, just a larger version of this trailer. Now these trailers have a uh, weight limit on them that is a 3,500 kilogram gross limit. However, the guys at NI Modding say you can go above that. I uh, brought a friendly New Holland tractor over here. Now you can put all kinds of things on there. Of course, the small one, you know, that would be useful on a small farm. It's going to look silly on behind this tractor, but, you know. What can you do there? Um, yeah, it looks absolutely silly behind this tractor. <laughs> now, I noticed that you don't get all of the options that you do, so you actually have to get out of your tractor to do this. So that's kind of cool. So let's lower the back crate and put on our ramps. Oh look, the little that little foot came down when we did that. Foot goes up, foot goes down. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's go get this thing. Uh, there we go. Now, there's some, they have some great pictures on, on the uh, download, which is, uh, the link is in the description as always. That's at the FS-UK. They have some great pictures of some of the stuff that you can load on here. So there's our uh, there's our quad bike. We can hop off, and we can remove our rear uh, remove our ramp and raise the back crate. Hey, look at that! That's nice. Very cool. Now let's turn off this tractor a minute. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna actually reproduce one of the things they did on their uh, on their pictures, but we're gonna remove the crate on this. We're gonna we're going to put the ramps on. You actually have to walk towards the back to do that. Excellent. Okay, so then we're gonna go here. Go to where is the ah? There we go. Let's buy four of these. Four profi hoppers. Let's load it up. Now you can put bales on here. You can certainly stack, especially round bales. They would work on there. Um, putting up the side skirt, the crate, would allow you to put more, um, probably easier to put round bales on. Uh, of course, we have that auto stacker for round bales, but. Whoa, uh oh, uh oh, 
Come on. No, 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 don't do this. It's a bad. Oh, you terrible, terrible profi hopper. Um. I hate you, profi hopper. Fine. We're just going to walk away, get in our tractor, and we're going to go for a little drive. <laughs> oh, goodness. Stupid profi hoppers. I wonder. Let me detach this. I'm just going to ram this profi hopper off of here. Get off of there. Stupid profi Profi hopper. There, that should have fixed the problem. When in doubt, ram it off. Come on, off. And off. Yay, we did it. Arr. Okay, we don't like profi hoppers anymore. Turn off. Pollute the atmosphere. With your stupid profi hopperness. So we're going to get rid of that. Um, all right, so let's take this. So we know that it works with the, the light load there. It's it's just a great little I think it's a great little trailer to wrong thing there um, and actually one of the things that they showed doing let's do it this way uh, put the ramp on Woo. I don't like those profi hoppers anymore but we can try it um, now despite having a 3500 kilogram limit they do show on their Pictures. Where is the tractors? There's the tractors. Hey, you can get a dude sacre ton on here. So let's let's put this on here. Ah, I don't know what it's gonna do with that New Holland tractor. I mean, the New Holland should be able to handle this, right? Let's not screw this up like we screwed up the profi hopper. There off, hop out, remove the ramp. <laughs> Probably a bit over capacity, but we can do it. And it allows it to happen. So they're great little trailers. Um, I like the fact that you can remove, add and remove the crate. That really allows you to uh, play around with putting, get out of the way New Holland. Um, it makes it a little bit easier to put in hay bales because uh, you can kind of scrape the bale off on the on the crate. In fact, let's take let's take this one. Get this out of here. Come on, off you go. Turn that off. Close that. Get in here. Oh yeah, start the engine. Dirt. So let's go and take this to the farm and throw a couple of round bales in it. So we'll be back when we are at the farm rocking with some round bales. All right, so we're back. I'm going to put the back end up because, let's see, brace back. Oh, because, you know, why not? Here's our two round bales that uh, didn't, uh, didn't make it via tried with the uh, auto stacker to unload. Nope. Oh, help if I raise it tall enough, right? And boop. Boop. Too much. There. And then just back out. Yep. And then the, the ridge of the crate holds that ba the bale in there. Making it a little bit easier to handle. And actually on the Again, in the pictures they show, they've they've got one of these little trailers with uh, three bales in it, because you can just kind of stack the bales up on each other. Come on. In you go. Perfect. There. Look at that. Turn that off. There. Now you've got your uh, two round bales in there. You could put a third bale up on top if you so desired. So these are great little trailers. Um, look silly behind the New Holland, yes, but... They're great little trailers, little utility trailers, useful for for various things that you might need done around your farm. So this is the I4 Williams trailer. There's two of them. Um, this this is the uh, the 3.6 meter 
the LM126. The other one is the LM186, it's a 5.5 meter. And uh, that's by NI Modding. Link is down in the description. I like it. I do like their mods. Uh, until next time, this has been Dare Tubbers with your Farming Simulator 2013 Mod Spotlight.